stories of Robert's successes in Italy inspired the Normandy broken by civil war. The Norman Duke William had not yet earned the title The Conqueror and was still a controversial young bastard, barely clinging to power. Many Norman knights, bloodied by civil war and lured by southern riches, set out for Italy. Robert's youngest brother, your great-grandfather, Roger Diotville, was among them. But he was different. Where Robert was ruthless and cunning, Roger was patient and chivalrous. He was motivated by love. Judith Devro, cousin of Duke William, had stolen Roger's heart, and the two wished to be married. Judith's father, however, would never entertain the thought of his daughter marrying a mere landless knight. Roger had no choice but to go to Italy to prove himself worthy of the woman that he loved. But Robert Giscard, like his brother before him, expected Roger to make his own way in Italy, as he had done years before. He offered Roger no lands and no knights. Fortunately for Roger, there was still a prize awaiting a man of his talents. An island ruled by Muslims for two centuries, but now divided between rival emirs, Sicily Beckin. A faithless criminal is hiding in your lands, Norman. Return him to me and I will pay you well for your trouble. Do not listen to him, Saeed Roger. My head is far more valuable to you atop my shoulders. I will not forget this, Norman. You harbor criminals, and I pronounce vendetta against you. Shukran, Saeed Roger, shukran. My followers are yours to command. Gather my supporters and march on one of the cities. The people are weak, and if they see you kill an Amir, they will submit to us. I mean you. You are indeed fortunate to have a friend like me, Saeed Roger. I am a local to Sicily and know the positions of the enemy cities. You will still need to search for the Emirs themselves, though. Come, my loyal followers. I have returned with Norman friends. Be suspicious of their swords or their ways. They are good friends of Sicily.
have a small favor to ask of you, Saeed Rajah. Restore me to my throne at Saracus, and I will be your most devoted ally. Locals surrender to you, my lord. My lord should focus on killing the enemy emirs and princes while preserving their cities and armies. Brother, my knights find no profit in putting down Lombard rebellions in Italy. There is little left to plunder. They want to conquer something, so make good use of them. I must go. Humphrey's son is causing trouble in Apulia. I should have killed him after his father died. Continue to conquer Sicily for me, and I will make you count of the island. Count? Said Roger, Inshallah you will be king of this island without your ungrateful brother. My brother is a fox. My day will come, but only if I am patient. 
Let us focus on taking this island before I worry over who will rule it. Catholic, Orthodox, and Muslim inhabit this island. But those in the West have been subjugated by the Berbers. If I show my tolerance of their faiths, the people will rebel against the two Berber princes. My men will continue the fight, but I must go and recover from my wounds. Sessi, moratori. Oh, 
I see you are quite ambitious, brother. Do not let your ambitions make you foolish. I am watching you, as a good elder brother should. I will return to Italy, brother. Soon, I will call on you to watch over my lands while I march on Constantinople with Bohemond. Finish Sicily quickly.
Servizio Moscio! Vero! Taglia legna. 
Ordini, taglia legna. Sì, sì. Taglia legna. Ordini, taglia legna. Salutiamo. devotion by conscripting these peasants into your army. Get out there, peasants! You will fight for the Normans or I will whip you! Oh, 
of this island, Christian and Muslim suffered for too long under feuding emirs. God willing, I will build a new order here, where Norman, Greek and Arab live together in peace. Sicily was a land fitting for a man like Roger. Daring and ambitious, but also patient. Chivalric, tolerant, and above all, motivated by love. He married his beloved Judith and settled in a Sicilian court. Roger Bosso, the Great Count, as your great-grandfather would come to be known, was more than a conqueror. Adopting the ways of the island, he fashioned a new eclecticism that gave Sicily unique character and strength. I do not know these words. The boy king said sadly, Forgive me, my king. What it means is that the warm Mediterranean breezes, the cool marble colonnades, the bubbly fountains splashing among the lemon trees, these are marked on your soul. You are shaped by this land, where Catholic church bells and the Orthodox liturgy mingle seamlessly with the Islamic call to prayer. It is a heritage unlike any other, all thanks to your great-grandfather. The boy nodded. I did not think he could yet fathom just how unique his kingdom was. 